How y'all doing? I'm going to give you guys a tip because I discovered something late last night in the middle of doing laundry and I was like, this would be awesome to share on YouTube. Kind of goes along with the whole like, this isn't a normal thing that Dan would post. Kind of like the air conditioner repair that I did in my Ford Explorer Sport Track and it's got like 300,000 views or maybe a half a million views or I don't know, maybe a quarter of a million views. So you never know what people need out there. So I have a hack to help you guys with should this ever happen to you. So I have a Kenmore top load washing machine and what happened was um, I went through the, the wash cycle, you know, I, I pull it uh, out at, on short, whatever, and it fills up with water and then it doesn't do anything else. It would not do anything else and the lid was closed. And I was like, I was like, well, crap, what do I do now? So I start going through my troubleshooting things and I'm like, well, do we have water? So I kept, like going from back and it go and stop and then and stop. And I'm like, well, okay, we have water. So the valves are working. Um, do we have a good switch here? So I would push it in and then turn it and I would get nothing. And I would turn it and I'd get nothing. So I'd pull it back out in, in a cycle, you know, and then turn it and it water and then turn it and, and water with it, with it out. So I'm like, okay, so it's not this and it's not this. So what else could it be? It'll fill with water, but it won't spin, it won't wash, it won't agitate, it won't rinse, it won't drain, it won't do anything. I got a tub of water. So the only other thing it could be is the safety switch on the lid. So the old style Kenmore's and many old style washers, top load, have a little thing right here. You can hold it down with a pencil. And you know, when you're a kid, you grew up, you push that down, you can watch it spin and it was really fun. Well, I guess they got wise to that. And so now they put it here in the hinge. And in this particular model, it's on this side. So when I went down, I wasn't really hearing it click much. And I'm like, that should click. So I'm like, okay, well, where is this all at? So I moved the drum over, right? And I reached up in there and I can feel it. And it goes behind up here. And I was like, okay, so I need to get to here. So how do you get to here? I right, unplug it right here. Always unplug it first, right? Take a paint scraper, this is overkill, but take a paint scraper and you go underneath and there's a clip right here. Give it a good pop and a little up. See if you got some space, do the same thing here. Give it a little pop. And an up and again, popping it up. And there we go, we're popping it out now, nice and easy. Look, this is real world shit, people. So if you see some dirt and lint and whatever underneath there and you want to call me out on it, go like this. And you get this up and out of the way. Remember, unplug it, okay? You see your water? So here's your water level sensor that goes through your different cycles right here. And here's your timer right here, just so you know. But right here is your door switch. So here's what I did. I bypassed it. So if you take the door switch off, the actual plug, you got this green ground right here. So you got this green ground. So I took the gray and the white and I just put them together. So here's the gray and the white. I twisted them together, you know, strip it, twist them together. Then I just taped it to here, plugged it back in like that. And then there's that clip that you were hitting right here. This goes back underneath, this goes back underneath. Just line it all up. Oops. Once you get it all together, plug it in. And there you go. Bring it to a different cycle. Rinse. Spin. Bypass. It's a free fix, not necessarily the safest thing to do. So if you got small kids uh, or something like that, and they're going to want to open the lid up and, you know, be playing around, you need to be very, very careful about that. If you're broke, you need to save some money, you need to do a hack. 
before you can get yourself a new washer or get a repairman out here or buy the part or something like that and you got laundry building up most laundry rooms have a way to lock the door or whatever be safe be smart but there's a little hack for you hopefully that saves you some money get you down the road and that's how you can quickly and easily hack your washer lid so tell me about the whistle, the whistle.